it is freezing. Let's walk towards our glorious 10 by 10 shop. Okay. Hello everybody and welcome once again to another Immortal Engines video. This is a new generator that I got. I got it for free. Somebody hit me up online and said, hey, uh, I have a generator that you can have. I'll come and get it. What did I get? I got a Yamaha. Oh yeah. Check this out guys. It's actually in pretty good condition. Yeah, if it's free, it definitely doesn't run. It's dead. Uh, incredibly, this is actually an electric start only. I'm not able to give it a few pulls and see if there's any compression in it. But for it to be free, I'm afraid that there is something wrong with it that is not an easy fix or a cheap fix so let's get into this generator and find out what's wrong with it shall we so first things first uh, I think the action is on this panel so we're gonna go ahead and undo the screws in order to diagnose this generator we need to have it cranking or running so what we have to do for what I see so far is remove what appears to be the inverter board and connect the battery so I went ahead and uh, grabbed this battery that I have laying around which is a generator battery I <coughs> I hope it's big enough because I don't have anything else so we're gonna pull this inverter board connect the battery and crank it and see if it makes power who knows maybe they just didn't have a battery I don't know so let's show you guys what it looks like inside I went ahead and I put a little light in there to help the camera a bit and here you go that is a very busy looking inverter board right here behind this here's our oops here's our positive lead here's our negative lead somewhere right here so we're gonna go ahead and throw the battery in there plug it in see what it does able to plug our negative and positive so what we're gonna do now I'm just gonna back away a little bit and I guess we can try and crank it see what happens let's turn on the fuel and let's hit start no way I really hope it doesn't fall off the table. So, um, it runs, but I did not see this light come on or this hour and power meter come on. I didn't see anything come on. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab, I'm gonna grab my cheap <laughs> voltmeter and I'm gonna show you guys how to know if the inverter board is bad or not uh, what I did notice on the generator is that it sounds like the choke is slightly on uh, yeah it didn't run just right it, it, it ran extremely rich so um, I'm thinking that the inverter board has gone bad so how do we test that like I said to you before that connector right there that brings uh, three phase power to the board what I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug that and then I'm going to plug my uh, voltmeter to it. And if I see power there, okay, then wh while the generator is running, so it has to be running, I'm going to test the voltage. It, I should be getting around 250 volts, maybe a little less or more because it sounds like the generator is not revving all the way up to idle. So uh, if I get voltage there, then plug it back in run the generator one more time and check here if I don't have power here so if the power is going in and it's not coming out then the inverter board is shot let's go ahead and try that and see what we find out okay guys so I have that unplugged from the inverter board I have my leads connected to it and I have my 
voltmeter set at 250 volt AC. So we should see some voltage coming out of there uh, when we start it. If we do, then that means uh, it's probably the inverter board. So let's find out what happens. Let me crank this up and see what it does. Okay guys, so it looks like we are getting juice to the board, but it looks like we're not getting juice out of the board. So it could happen that there's something wrong on the other end of this cable, which goes to the outlets. So to make sure it could not be that, next thing I'm gonna do is plug that back in, unplug this, and then check from the board directly. There should be 110 volts coming out of here that goes directly to the outlets. If there's not, then that most definitely means our inverter board is bad. So let's go ahead and try it. Okay guys, this is gonna be a difficult one to record. Uh, I have to use this hand to start the generator and at the same time hold the leads. So yeah, let's see, let's see how I do this. It looks like bad news it looks like our inverter board is shot okay guys i think i'm gonna go and look online find this board and maybe it'll be worth it to order it uh this is a very expensive generator so might be worth buying a new inverter board for let's see how long it takes to get here and here it is we got our part that was very fast shipping guys this is most definitely the most expensive generator part i have ever gotten it's definitely um, uh, a risk because I'm gonna plug it in and I have no idea if it's gonna work. So let's go ahead, let's get it out of here. Ooh, check this out. Looks nice. There it is. Um, looks like the same. So let's go ahead and get it in the generator and see what happens. Okay guys, so I have the board all plugged in. I put this power tester right here. And uh, now it's the moment of truth. I'm gonna turn this key and uh, hopefully it runs because if it doesn't, I'm out of a ton of money. So let's go. Whew. Ready? Okay, here we go. <laughs> Awesome. That was awesome. I can't believe it was that easy. I'm, I'm used to taking generators completely apart because of the issues they come to me with. But that was, I'm not going to lie, that took me about five minutes. That one's going to join the graveyard of inverter boards. But would you look at that? Check this out, guys. It's all plugged in. So thankfully, uh, power is going in and coming out now. So whatever is wrong with that one, it has to do with the converting of the power into sine wave power, which is the steady power that you can use on electronics. So yeah, um, now I did notice one thing. When I started this generator uh, without the board, it sounded like the choke was partially on. 
quit ruining my videos. Shush. Shh. Go away. Go away. So uh, at first, uh, we tried to start this generator with the bad inverter board, and we noticed that the, the it seems like the choke is on. Well, Jonathan, why don't you just release the choke so that it runs perfectly? Uh, that's because it doesn't have one. That's right. That choke written with Sharpie and bunch of holes, it actually used to have a wire connected to, and I don't know, I just pulled it and it came out. That does not look factory to me, all those holes and that, yeah, that's definitely not factory. So I'm pretty sure that this generator has an electronic choke. It looks like something's wrong with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and unplug that board, put it away for now, and investigate the air box and see what's going on in there with a the carburetor. Okay guys, now that we have the inverter board out of the way, we gotta go ahead and pull the air filter lid or maybe the whole box off. There's a screw on the top and the bottom, which usually isn't a problem, but there's no direct way to access them. So look look at what I'm gonna use to get us off. I expect this to take me a little while, so I wanna save you the pain. Go ahead and hit a time lapse. Okay guys, I think I screwed up and the camera started shifting or moving uh, with the wind uh, when I put the time lapse on. But basically, I managed to get um, the lid off, the air filter off, and then I see this. What in the world is this? Is that duct tape? You can't make this up guys, I swear to god I'd never do this to a generator. What am I going to do next is I'm going to remove both of those nuts and there's a screw down there. Pull that box off. That apparently has been ruined and uh yeah and see what where that takes us okay guys up on closer inspection look at this why in the world would someone put a hole in the air filter box after the air has been filtered? So what you're doing is you're allowing the carburetor to suck in dirt, rendering the whole assembly useless. I, I don't understand why somebody would do that and then tape it after. I mean, this is just, if you don't know what you're doing, just either watch my videos a little more and subscribe to my channel or just leave it alone that this is just awful this this is not gonna work ever <laughs> oh how i love tight spaces and cold hands a couple wires i think uh stopping it from going anywhere yeah come on buddy perfect Okay, so I'm hoping that did anything. Maybe we can pull it out this time. Yes! It's off. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug that. Yep, another lid came off. Wow, almost got the carb completely out. You know what guys, I think I'm gonna have to pull the car out of there. They only go in one way. There we go. These don't squirt there. Perfect, okay. All right.